Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my channel you know what study if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos. In this video we will talk about that how we can do the QRT PCR analysis from the QO Excel sheet the Q value and to convert them into the graph bar chart and for significant or non-significant application of t-test to determine the results that they are significant or non-significant so how we can do all this process let's start so after doing the qpcr we will get this type of excel sheet in which have the different uh, values and this is these are the wells like this is a arrow and well one arrow well 2 up to 12 this is the b row and well 1 2 and then c up to h and these are the floor and this is the targets counts and these are the samples so i have uh, two samples one is the control while the other one is the treated sample and these are the r1 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 and these are the three technical repeats of each sample of control and these are the here these are the three technical these are the three technical reports of the control these are the technic three technical report uh, rep repeats of the treatments and these are the actin with control actin c and this is actin with treatment this is the replication one and these are the replication two but these are the three te technical repeats of control and the and the treatments then actin of control and actin of treated sample and this is the replication 2 and here is the replication 3 so this is uh, the expression of i want to check the expression of my gene in these samples that one is the control while the other is treated and this is its cq value cq value or ct value so now which is the most important one so we need this cq cq value so we first copy these these two one is the sample column and another one is the cq column and paste it here we delete this and here now we will use the power method there are different method of calculating the qpcr analysis one delta delta t uh, power method uh, constant method so we use the uh, in this video we will use the power method in power method we keep the actin value in front of that control values uh, actin primer so this is the actin value of uh, sorry I increase the size so it will clearly you can see that these are the control and now here is the actin so we copy the actin value of control d3 and paste them in the treated or uh, sorry the uh, with genes primers in control well the actin of the treated in front of paste in front of the uh, gene primers likewise in replication 2 and 3 we will do the same when we do the qpcr we one we use the uh, gene primer another one we use the actin primer so these are the uh, gene primer these are the cq values in a control and treated with the gene primer and these are the uh, cq values uh, in a uh, uh, control and uh, treated sample with actin primer so we copy these cq value of actin primers and paste them in front of that uh, uh, sorry uh, gene primers in control and treated now we use the formula that is 
is equal to power parenthesis number we use two comma and then 18 value minus gene cq value press enter so you will get this value and now you can simply drag it then it's likewise copy and paste it here this automatically come this formula here and then also paste now we need the here uh, we can write here uh, this is the control and here we write the treated here we write the r1 mean r2 mean and here r3 mean so here we write the mean of replication 1 in control so is equal to from here formula uh, average and select this uh, control 3 column so the 3 cells so this is the replication of R1 of control likewise here also the average of replication 2 of the control and here the replication 3 of the control so likewise you now in the treated samples Here, these are the treated samples. So this is the expression of control in R1, R2, R3 and this is the expression of treated sample in R1, R2, R3. So now we you make the mean of these three replications. So control here treated here you can write uh, expression and here we use the standard deviation. So likewise we do the mean of these three replication of control and here we use the mean of treated sample. Now we calculate the standard deviation. So keep in mind that these this is the mean of three technical uh, repeats of each replication. This one and this one is the three technical repeats of R2 replication. This is the three technical repeats of the R3 replication. And this is the average or uh, mean of replication, these three replications. And this is the uh, average of these treated samples, three replication. Now we Calculate the standard deviation. So likewise here, select the standard dot s sample and select the replication, these three replications. And also from here, standard deviation and treated so these three three replications of treated samples. So now this is we got the a standard deviation now we can make the bar chart like this sample and expression and bar chart so we 
can make it a little bit smaller and delete this also select and delete here you can write this is the gene name so for example i write gene 1 and now click on any bar like this or this any bar click and then format sorry layout error bar and here more and then go here select the plus custom specify value and here you can select the both values standard deviation values okay and okay here the bar comes you can double click on it and then you can also make the here width line style and width you can increase the width up to 3, 4 to make it thicker like this. Now we can calculate that whether this is the significant results or non-significant. So here we will apply the t-test on this analysis. So we can do that. We will calculate the p-value on the basis of t-test. So on the basis of t-test we will get the p-value so we will recognize that either it is a significant or non-significant. So here is equal to t-test. So double click on it and now array 1. Array 1 is our control samples, comma array 2 is our treated samples, comma t tail is this is a two tail which we want to take the control or treat it so you write one if you want to use the one tail then you write one if you want to uh, check the two tail then write two and comma now this is a paired or uh, two sample equal variance or two sample unequal variance this is the paired sample so i write one and then press enter so this is the value so this value is if this value is greater than 0 0.05 for example this value if comes 0 0.06 or 7 or 8 then we can say that the, these uh, there is no significant or non significant result but if this value comes 5 or 4 or 3 or 2 or 1 then we can say that this is the significant value significant differences or effect and we will make the one star on it one but now here is the value is less than 0 0.01 mean 0 0.0001 so we will say that it is a highly significant and we will put the two star on it like this we can copy it and uh, open the that ppt file paste it here and then we can here from here increase the size font size and uh, font type and now we can add because this is our value uh, p value on the basis of the t test is uh, greater than 0 0.001 so we add 2 star here if it is uh, sorry less than if it is less than 0 0.05 then we add 1 star if now it is less than 0 0.01 mean its value is 0 0.000 so we add 2 star here also increase their size and now you can select all and group it so now in this way you can clearly make the bar chart and say that reader can say, know that this is the highly significant 
differences so in this way you can analyze your qpcr analysis uh, data and then make the graph and also by doing the t test you can calculate the significance or non significance so this is all about hopefully it will help you if you have any query please uh, comment don't forget to like comment and share thank you